yes, yesterday. So we, yeah, we had like a fire, talk and about, then you uh, went back to, back to Cadillac Mountain. Harbor, Maine. Technically Trenton. Yeah, just outside of Bar Harbor. Mm -hmm. uh, Bar Harbor is like 15 minutes away. It's about 20, 25 minutes away. 15 minutes. Well, it's about <laughs> it's about 15 minutes to Mount Desert Island. That's true. Yeah, and we are at Acres. Timberland Acres RV Park. We've been here for about 10 days now, and we were really surprised when we got here at how large these pull-through sites are. Ridiculous. We large. could have maybe what three of our rigs on one. On this one, maybe two, but there's uh, some that are adjacent to us. We could fit three of our rigs end to end easily. Unbelievable how huge these things are. The park itself is a nice park. I mean, there's, it's a no-frills park, but it's been fine. Yeah, there's a pool. The office slash little camp store has a lot of local goodies in it, like blueberry, blueberry pie. pie. We may have purchased a couple of those, yeah. um, but they sell like local blueberry syrup and jam and pie and stuff like that. So that's really good. If you come here, you gotta get some of that. The only issue that we had here, and it didn't last that long, so that's good, is the well here actually ran dry. Yeah, they had a problem with their pump, and then they turned out it was the well. Yeah. And so we didn't have water for about 24 hours. Yeah. Luckily, the water came on in the middle when they were working on it and when it did I filled up our tanks maybe 66% that was the only issue that we had here other than I, I think that I would have preferred to be a little bit closer to Acadia and into yeah. Bar Harbor but that's this yeah there are some KOAs like there's two KOAs on Mount Desert Island mm -hmm. um, one of them is right on the water and I I can't remember whether we looked into those or we not. We did. I, I don't a... remember what the prices were, but I know they were a lot higher. And seeing as how we just left Portland, Maine, and our most expensive RV park to date, we didn't want to splurge too much here in, in the second leg of our main the, trip. The Northeast is just killing our average. <laughs> it's <laughs> our, killing my waistline uh, too, because yeah. there's a lot of good food. We're in Bahaba. Actually, we're not in Bahaba. We're in Trenton. Trenton, and we're gonna ride to Bahaba right now. Yeah, we don't really have a specific destination. We're just gonna go check it out, see yeah. what we see, what we find. It's after work, and we're just gonna do a little short ride. Yeah, we have no clue what's down there. So. We don't know. Adventure. Yep.
we only got out on the bike once, which is unfortunate because there's a lot of great riding yeah. around here. But we just took the bike one night after work and we just rode into Bar Harbor and just kind of... Yeah, putzed around a little bit. Around. One thing we got to do before my girls came up to visit was take a biplane tour. <gasps> that, that was the coolest thing ever! That was really, really cool. Oh um, man, yeah. that was awesome. That is something that um, I will always remember. We are headed to Acadia Air Tours. We're going to fly over Acadia National Park. Around all the water. Uh, I think we're up there for 30 minutes, 35 minutes. 35, 40 I think. Oh cool. In an open air cockpit biplane. I've oh. never been in a biplane. I've been in small planes. Yeah. I've even crawled out on wings before of small planes. That's true. He doesn't do that anymore. <laughs> I'm a little excited. Mostly nervous. <laughs> So I think they have tours as cheap as 36 bucks on the one plane that carries 10 people or something like that. Yeah. That's a short, I think, 15 minute tour, but you can still get on one for pretty inexpensively. We haven't done something like this before. I think it's worth it. Yeah. We may do it again um, in the Keys. Won't be in a biplane, but it'll be in a plane. Yeah. Seaplane. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Deplane. Deplane. Yeah. We'll see how I do on this one and see if there are more little flights in our future or not. <laughs> <laughs> At least in my future, we'll see. We have a 25 minute tour. Our pilot's name is Dylan. He just Dylan. finished up a flight. Dylan's a good pilot name, I think. Yeah. I think I feel good. I'm, 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 I'm more nervous than, than you guys even know. I'm excited. We're about to go on this thing with that guy. <laughs> that's, that's our pilot. Dylan. That's our pilot, Dylan. Yeah, I said I'm nervous. He said he is too. <laughs> He's just kidding. I'm super excited. The jokester. That's the cover girl. She's on the AOPA credit card and what month magazine? November 2010. November 2010 cover of AOPA magazine. That's the Aircraft Owners and Pilots Association if you're wondering what AOPA is. That's a good looking plane. It is. I've always wanted to go on a biplane. And see, look, we're going to be in the front under the shade. You didn't need sunscreen. Sure I did. Sunscreen, <laughs> sunscreen can never hurt you. That's true. Unless That's, it gets in your eyes yeah, and I then you're you, blinded you, and you, you're riding the motorcycle and you can't see and then... Yeah, yeah. you get me to it. Yeah. yeah. So we'll have the heads heads on, you'll yep. be able to narrate to us while we're flying. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I can go up there and not say a word and yeah. it'll, it'll still be a good ride. And we can come out and check out the round engine. It's kind of a cool thing to see in a wooden prop. 275 horsepower. Jacob's radio engine. 
That is cool. And a real wooden prop there. <laughs> Spin maneuver. Yeah. Nice. Is this where if you're not feeling up to it, you give me the combo and I get to stick out? Yeah, no. Stick it in the floor. explained everything as we flew over it and he would dip the wing and say over here we should yeah. do this and over here yeah and it, was, it was really neat couldn't hear a lot of what he said yeah the audio and those headsets it was a little rough you are sitting outside an airplane with yeah. a radial engine so it's kind of loud but it was a blast Look at that. Oh my God, I loved it. I loved it. There's one problem. You ready? See, see that? Uh, <laughs> little wind, little wind. So I even had, I had my hair pulled back and everything, but I got this to deal with now. Well, that's my, that's the only negative part of the whole thing. It was amazing. I want to do it again. I agree. My hair's, <laughs> my hair's good. Your hair's good. Yeah. I mean, I'm still working on it. Look at that. Wear a headband, ladies. Wear a headband. <laughs> I should have done what I do on the motorcycle, but I didn't think about it. I thought my ponytail was gonna get whipped around. Not the top of my head. Wear a headband. Otherwise, you got this to deal with. Still, still combing her Still combing. Hair. Still combing it out. It was awesome but I don't like this part. <laughs> bring cash for a tip for yeah. Dylan. We don't have cash, so we are gonna tip. get some and bring it back because he was great. Yeah, he deserves a tip for show. Sure. Yes, oh show. Sure. I think this is gonna take me another hour or so. And now I have Wild Woman here, we think. <laughs> After the biplane tour, we went and met up with Randy and Bree. Yes, 
our friends from the Portland area came over here and got a cabin and stayed a few nights so they could hang out with us over here and show us around here because they know this area as well. That's right. Randy is a tour guide for the Bar Harbor and Acadia area. He's like a tour area. guide for everything. He just knows everything. <laughs> I mean, we have had our own personal tour guide here for like three cool. weeks. It's been awesome. Pretty cool. I, I highly recommend getting your own personal tour guide. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we met them at the Chart House for a little lunch right on the water. Not sure which body of water it was just yet, but I'll probably find out and maybe put it down here. Another really cool place that uh, Randy and Bree took us to was a little place called Cafe This Way. Yeah. Good Cafe job. This Way, yeah. Because mm -hmm. I think when you're on the main strip in, in Bar Harbor, there's a sign that says Cafe This Way. Yeah. So that's just what it's called. Yeah, and then you like follow this little path, and it's actually the building for the restaurant is behind another building. Yeah, it's so, off the beaten path. Yeah. But it's really good. It's really good. It's tapas style portions. So we just With got. With regular portion price. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's true, but everything was really good. We ordered a bunch of things for the table and we all just split some stuff. And the ambiance was really, really neat place too. Thank goodness they suggested that after dinner we go up to Cadillac Mountain to see the sunset. Oh, uh, yeah. Because we didn't have that was another opportunity after yeah. that. Probably be a good sunset tonight, but we're packing up and we're hitting yeah. the road in the mornings. So we went up there with them and holy cow, yeah. was that beautiful. Yeah, Cadillac Mountain is really neat anyway because it sits up high and you can see over all of Mount Desert Island in any direction. You walk around the top of this mm -hmm. thing, it's just a big flat kind of top mm -hmm. and you can walk all around it. So you could see all the little islands and stuff mm -hmm. in the water. Water. It was just beautiful. This state is beautiful. It is. It was just an unbelievable sunset. Of course, we had great company. Yeah, me, me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever. And I feel so free. Oh, my sweet baby. Beware strange men coming out of the woods. <laughs> The last day of Randy and Bree's visit up here, they suggested that we meet at Jordan Pond House. Uh, and that was in Acadia National that Park. That was in Acadia. It was the first of many gloomy, dreary, foggy days mm -hmm. that we had in a row, but it was still really cool. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever I feel so free Oh my sweet baby It was kind of neat because there was a big field out by this place that narrowed down into the bay and you had say the trees Oh, is that Jordan Pond? Yeah You know, it's hard to tell everything's bays and ponds up here It's just water and yeah. trees It was cool because you sat out on the grass and luckily we didn't get rained on I just fogged in a bit Yeah, and the fog here is really cool and strange I mean, it's just different than I guess what we're used to yeah. It, it kind of doesn't leave It just sort of Yeah, it's very sticks. much like you would see in the movies that yeah. you know, you think it's fake but it's not Yeah it's, This whole New England thing is different than we're used to Yeah what do you think? Oh, it's not a picture. <laughs> it's a moving, a moving it's a picture. Movie. We're at Jordan Pond House. Yeah. There's kids. Yeah. Kids who can break glass with their voices are running around. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's it's not the prettiest day, but it's yeah. a really pretty. But there's there's this over here. Probably the highlight of this trip, at least for me, probably for you too, and, yeah. and probably for Daisy, uh, was my girls got to come visit. We flew them up from Tampa. Yep. And uh, they got to come up for four days, five days. Yeah, well, yeah, Monday I mean, through Friday. yeah, Monday through Friday, but Monday and Friday are travel days. Yeah. So we're headed to pick up my little girls. Not so little. Not saying Yay. they're big, but you know. We get it. We get it. <laughs> You're grown. Girl. They're grown. Since they're grown and all, they they're pretty busy with their own lives and their own travels. So this is exciting. They're headed flying to, into Bangor. Bangor. We'll be a little early, so we're going to go inside and surprise them. And we're going to have camera gear and we're going to embarrass them. It'll yeah. be fun. I'm sure they won't care. They're my daughters. <laughs> They're used to being embarrassed. We're in the airport. 
Here we are. We're in the <laughs> airport. A, this is a very tiny airport. I think it's got tiny. six or seven gates. So they should be arriving in just a few minutes. Momentarily. We're waiting. Are you excited? Yeah. You know me, I don't get, I don't get like, wee, you know, I just, you know. You did for the biplane tour. Well, the biplane tour is a little different. It'll be like the last one's off. <laughs> I bought them cheap seats, so it'll probably take them a while to get off the plane. <laughs> <laughs> When we were walking in and you said, do you think they're going to be vlogging? <laughs> I was thinking, I was like, what if they're already here? <laughs> I was very... So this is my daughter Madison. Can you tell she's mine? <laughs> here I am. Come here, Megan. Come introduce yourself to our audience. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned for Bar Harbor Part 2 when Chad's girls come to visit. Yep, we did lots of cool stuff. We went and explored Acadia, went on a boat tour. We even went to a lumberjack show. Lumberjack show. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our website, changinglanesrv.com. And click that like button and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Yeah, definitely click the like button. That helps us out a lot. It does.